Algerian film maker uh, Sophia Dejama uh, was here in a twin series visiting us uh, uh, for the International Film Festival. Uh, her film, The Blast, was uh, uh, duet here uh, on Saturday, and I had a chance to talk with her and have a, a little conversation uh, on uh, Stonebridge here in St. Anthony, Maine, uh, not uh, uh, too far from uh, the International Film Festival uh, uh, venue. And uh, we had a very open conversation about her as a filmmaker and as a woman and as just uh, uh, somebody who wants uh, to tell a story as a storyteller. Being, being an Algerian and being a woman yourself, how this affects cinema in general? Uh, how, how far, uh, how do they accept you as a woman in, in, in that industry, so usually predominantly by men? Issue. First of all, I'm no storyteller. I'm not considering myself as an Algerian who has to tell about the Algerian issue. Uh, my imagination and my uh, dream, my, my what uh, with the story that I, 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 the first story I decided to 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 to, to tell happened in Algeria. But I hope to. No, I don't. I, I actually, I, I'm not. Uh, it's not a hope. I'm just writing. If it happened in Algeria, yes, it happened in Algeria. If it happened somewhere else, I don't care. I mean, I'm a storyteller. Regarding the female issue in the cinema industry, in Algeria, the question is not uh, the main. I mean, the main question, uh, question in Algeria is not to be a man or to be a woman. Is uh, how to be a filmmaker in Algeria. <laughs> yeah. Because the, the film had been financed by French structure, and I want just to say to them, the problem is not the fact of, I mean, the problem is not that France had uh, given me the money, the problem is wh why I had to ask France to give me the money to do the film. The problem is in Algeria. <laughs> <laughs> That's a beautiful point. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, you know, when you are, when you talked about those two generations are stuck, uh, but with the same memories, or all the parents or the second generation have different uh, memory of it. Yeah, definitely they have a different memory of that because they have different interpretation about what happened mm -hmm. and what occurs. And second of all, because when uh, when the civil war started, the young generation was very very young. They were a child. So when you are a child, you don't welcome things like an adult for sure, mm -hmm. because you have not political interpretation about things, and you are just a child. I mean, even the generation of the adult had to fight against their generation that, uh, of their parents, and mainly this generation, because they were their generation of uh, independence. They were their generation that have a legitimacy because they fight for the for Algeria. Why the, the next generation, I mean, the next generation of the adult uh, was born after the, or at the very, begin, uh, very, very beginning of the independence of Algeria. So they were like uh, uh, privileged to be born in an uh, independent country. I don't know, I, I can, I want to thank them because they built, they built up my way my my way of thinking even if i am against of their way but i have been influenced by this generation and but i don't want them to do what they uh, uh, they suffered from i mean <laughs> interesting <laughs> when you mentioned something uh, i didn't see the whole movie but you mentioned something about uh, being a youth you, you get stigmatized you know people uh, accuse you of being uh, are the rebellious or being I yeah, like? I know, think it's what I wanted to say to show. Also, I wanted to show that even if you're from what we call the Arab world, <laughs> young people are the same. Uh, I mean, uh, they are uh, how they have this rebellion feeling uh, that uh, when you are mm -hmm. 20 years you, old, it's a, a natural way of thinking. You, you have to be in contradiction with your parents. It is the way to do. I mean, to be. Uh, otherwise, you are not young. <laughs> Even if it is Algeria and what happened in Algeria, can 
make some change in the way of behaving. But at the end, it's a, a film about conflict, about generation conflict, which is the same um, issue, whatever you are, well, whatever is your culture, whatever is your situation, it's always, always the same question. What I, what the, the question of the parents? What he will do or what she will do? What I uh, what what I have done for him or for her? Uh, and when you are young, you are asking, what will be my life? I'm, am I doing the right choice? At the end, there is no right choice. You have just to to, to choose. Do, to, I mean, <laughs> uh, to choose is this way or this way. And it's a multi-layer issue, of course. Uh, but you choose to, to, to just tell just one day. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's not uh, kind of a, you cram in every issue, complicated issue in one day. That's a very interesting choice. I don't think that it's uh, what I wanted to say. It's an ordinary day. Everything could happen. <laughs> it's a day. <laughs> only one single day, everything could happen. <laughs> At the end, nothing happened. This is what I always had a, an issue with uh, festival films from uh, underrepresented uh, country, you know, Middle East especially. And I've been following this uh, festival for more than three years, since the beginning. And they come, Ahmed, come introduce this Arab film. <laughs> See, 99% the film is either on terrorism or oppressed Muslim women. Away. <laughs> So I tell, uh, am I an expert on terrorism or on uh, yeah, oppressed women? Yeah, you're Arab, it's enough. <laughs> but now it's changing uh, because uh, Arab directors and Arab people will start getting a hold of their narrative and yeah. telling their own story. That's what I meant. take control. But you don't have to tell an Arab story, but you are an Arab. Uh, I'm uh, a you filmmaker. Know, a female filmmaker. I'm a filmmaker. I'm, I, I was born in Algeria, but I'm only a filmmaker. I'm, but you get on hold of, uh, of the narrative. You're not, you, know, you don't have to stick to, to the traditional issue that gives you funding from the festival, which is... Because I, I, it's not what I want to do. I just want to be a filmmaker, to, to I don't know, cinema de genre, uh, doing science fiction. Why not? I, mm -hmm. uh, for the moment, my story is somehow close to... Well, not somehow, it's really close to Algerian issue. Whatever I will say about that, I cannot. I am. To, I am obliged to admit that I am just depicting my society. But it's not a miserable way of depicting a society. I still a human story. They are still human, and they are. They have trouble. I mean, it's a couple at the end. It's a couple who are live, who get married, who got married 20 years uh, ago. I mean, it's a. It's the same sheriff the life that you can have whatever you are I mean uh, 20 years of marriage is very hard to say the young people are the same also for him the boy wants to, doesn't want to leave uh, at least he he don't care he doesn't care about that he say he, 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 he just say to his mother well why to go I, I'm, I'm okay here I have my friend I'm having good time with my friend and don't care about France or whatever France or, because he has the opportunity to go to abroad he has a visa and so, so he is not like <gasps> you know this kind of person yeah, yeah. he has no fascination about uh, occidental way of life because he has it on yeah. his own country and the only thing that is very close to Algeria is the what happened? I mean, the historical issue, it's the civil war that adds some, like, uh, uh, tabaka, uh. Another layer? You said that they're stuck in the past and they have no future. That, that's it's not a good uh, situation no. to be. No, they, they are stuck. They, they, were, they were, I mean, Amel and uh, the adult are, were stuck to the past, they were nostalgical. Uh, the proof of that is uh, the way that uh, her husband, Samir, is singing an old uh, French uh, song, which is a very uh, political song. And uh, uh, even uh, when there are uh, their references, like uh, they still listen to Fela Kuti, uh, Independence of, of Africa, you know, they have this uh, idea 
ideology, you know, way of thinking. Because it was only the thing that they have been. I mean, they. That's all they, they got. <laughs> it's, it's all their life. Yeah. So, can you imagine when you, when someone come to you and said to to you, well, your life was a shit. I <laughs> want to have another one. <laughs> no, it's too late. <laughs> it's too late. No. In the, and even it's not the, what I want to say. Uh, their life was their life, and uh, and that was, they stuck them because the mother is trying to because she 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 is ideological. She feels that she has betraying something. For her, she is betraying. As soon as she decided to leave someone else and to, but she also has a kind of uh, and mat- mother feeling because for her everything is collapsed in this country and she wants her she wants her boy go goes away if i think that it's quite uh, melodramatic um, it is what my point of view actually because her boy can live in algeria if he wants the fact is that in algeria people think that you even if she is go if she leave algeria this person amel if she she lived Algeria, she will reproduce exactly, she will not have a new life. She will bring with her exactly her nostalgia and uh, she, she is stuck. Mm-hmm. She, Even she moved uh, in more, France. More, yeah. more, because she will bring with her all the memories all and, the memories and it see. will be very hard for her. That's why I'm saying that our new, the new generation should Consider it, should consider the the uh, life abroad like uh, any occidental boy or woman. I mean, uh, if you, I think that the problem is we because of the lack of visa, because we are not traveler, because we have a lot of trouble to go away. We decided to see the uh, the foreign country like you know the El Dorado and uh, Utopia solution. Yeah. Yes, and when you go there, you are like betraying your country and feeling this you know, national feeling. Mm. It's very heavy to stand. So you are bringing the part because you are bringing a part of your country in your the no the new. You feel guilty because you just feel guilty. So what's home for you? Home is a place where I feel happy and the place where I decided to to live from without asking without asking myself whether I will live there forever and uh, I have not this notion of time hmm. <laughs> Je suis en train de me faire un peu de temps. Je suis en train de me faire un peu de temps. Je suis en train de me faire un peu de temps. Je suis en train de me faire un peu de temps. Je suis en train de me faire un peu de temps. Je suis en train de me faire un peu de tem